Hello, American Rod Shop family. Welcome back into another episode of American Rod Shop. My name is Solon, and in tonight's video, I'm going to show you 10 cars in 10 minutes that I think each and every one of them has got that wow factor going on. Stay tuned. I think you're going to love it. Plus, after we get through with part one, for those that just wants the information value, then we'll have part two, which will be the entertainment value. If you'd like to stick around for that, we're going to be giving away a, a Hot Wheels diecast car. Plus, we'll be doing the automotive trivia. How well do you know your automotive history? And we've got the fantasy vintage stock car racing segment. That's always fun. We got a pretty big race tonight with 32 cars involved. It's all on a dirt track. And guess what? There's a lot of wrecks and a lot of bumps going on. And if you're interested in checking out any of the cars that are showcased in tonight's video, then all you have to do is go over to the video's description. And in there, you'll find the links to each one of these ads for each one of these cars. Now, let's get this video kicked off with number one. 1963 Chevrolet Classic C10 pickup truck listed in Indio, California for $19,675. Up for sale by the second owner is one of the most beautiful 1963 Chevrolet Classic C10 fleet side trucks that you will ever see. The 63 Chevy runs and drives well and is powered by the original rebuilt 140 horsepower 230 cubic inch straight six cylinder engine with a three speed manual transmission. And it has only been driven 300 miles since the rebuild. This truck has received a complete mild restoration which includes new paint inside and out, all chrome trim buffed out and polished, new chrome custom rims, new white wall tires, a new radiator, a new electric fan, a new electric fuel pump, new bed flooring, and brand new matching blue and white seat covers. This is one nice truck to own, and it will definitely draw attention to you wherever you drive it. Number two, 1970 Chevrolet El Camino SS, listed in Elko, Nevada for $20,000. Up for sale is this beautiful red custom 1970 Chevrolet El Camino SS that is definitely a crowd attractor. The solid dent-free, rust-free body on this car has received a brand new paint job with period correct detail, a restored vinyl top, new trim, and a new bed liner. This original body has only 42,654 miles on it, it is powered by a brand new 350 motor and 350 turbo transmission with only about 5,000 miles on it and it runs and drives great. The original black interior looks amazing for its age and has received nice custom touches such as a new seat belt racing harness, two 10 inch subs and an amplifier system for the brand new digital screen radio. This car has been well maintained and brand new tires added to the front and the back. Price to sell at $20,000 or best offer. Number three, 1947 Studebaker truck listed in Hinman, Kentucky for $14,000. Up for sale is this beige and brown custom 1947 Studebaker truck resto rod. The sharp little Studi truck runs and drives great and has only been driven just over 11,000 miles since being built. In fact, the owner states that you can drive this truck anywhere with no issues. This custom build is sitting on a Chevy S10 frame powered by a small block 4.3 Chevy six-cylinder motor and automatic transmission that puts out 285 horsepower. It has power brakes, power steering, heat, and AC, but the AC needs the lines hooked up and recharged. A new full-blown custom interior has been added, but it still needs a headliner installed. The body is solid and straight and just needs to be painted to finish it on out. The flooring in the bed has been replaced and custom five-spoke mags really round out the look, asking $14,000 or best offer for this 1947 Studebaker Resto Rod pickup. Number four, 1948 Plymouth Coupe listed in Bedford, Virginia for $9,000. Up for sale is this blue 1948 Plymouth Deluxe Coupe. This 1948 Plymouth is equipped with the original inline 217.8 cubic inch L-head six-cylinder motor mounted to the original three-speed manual transmission, and it runs and drives great. Having received a mild restoration in its past, 
It still displays nicely and will turn heads when you are out and about driving it. Restoration aspects on it include a new paint job in sky blue color, swapped over to a 12 volt system, new brakes, new tires, and new glass. It also received a new standard black and gray interior, but still needs a new headliner and new interior kick panels. The body is solid, rust free, and this coupe has been garaged kept since the restoration to ensure that this 1948 Plymouth Coupe makes a great daily driver, asking 9000 or best offer. Number 5. 1941 Buick Special Restorod, marked down from 21000 to 18000 in Ogden, Utah. For sale is the two-tone blue and gray 1941 Buick Special four-door sedan Restorod that is powered by the original eight-cylinder engine that has been fully rebuilt and coupled up to a custom-fitted turbo 350 automatic transmission with a low-car floor shifter. It had a lot of restoration done and some custom upgrades, such as a new 12-volt electrical system, a modern stereo, specialty power windows, a windshield wiper kit, a vintage air heating and cooling system, a new wiring harness, a custom torque mini starter, a complete custom rear suspension, and a fully matching blue and gray reupholstered custom interior. All work has been documented. It has only been driven 2,400 miles since the revitalization, but does need a new fuel pump and battery from sitting in storage. Asking 18000 or best offer, tell me what you think about this Buick. Number 6, 1956 Packard Executive, listed in Burns, Tennessee for $15,000. This 100% original, beautiful, dark blue 1956 Packard Executive four-door sedan is up for sale. It is powered by its original 205 V8 engine, coupled up with the Ultramatic two-speed transmission, and it runs and drives great. The seller drives it often, but just does not have time to enjoy it now, and would like to sell it for others to enjoy. This car has always been garage-kept and well-maintained, and the very nice condition will testify to that. The original dark blue paint displays nicely over a solid and dentless body and the original interior is complete with just some minor splits on the driver's seat. Everything electrical works great on it and all glass and chrome are good. The seller is not interested in any trades and seeks serious inquiries only. Asking $15,000 for this 1956 Packard. And guys, I think this 56 Packard is one of the most beautiful body style designs of that era. Tell me what you think. Lucky number seven. 1965 AMC Rambler American 220 marked down from $15,500 to $11,000 listed in Whiteland, Indiana. For sale is a green 1965 AMC Rambler American 220 with only 24,979 original miles on its six-cylinder 196 CID engine and two-speed automatic transmission. The title also confirms the actual mileage and this car runs and drives great. The original interior of the car is in immaculate condition, while the body is very solid and the original paint displays well, except for some light paint fading, patina, and a few other dings in some areas. However, there are no rust holes anywhere on the car. The underside of the car is also in excellent condition. The car is almost entirely original, except for the wheels and the tires, but the seller includes the original wheels, hubcaps with biased tires to go with it. The seller is not interested in any trades. Number 8. 1959 Ford Ranchero. Listed in Houston, Texas. That's been marked down from $16,800 to $14,500. This is a very nice classic daily driver or project car that is up for sale. A black 1959 Ford Ranchero. And these Rancheros in this particular year model are getting harder to find, especially in this very good condition. This car received a mild restoration a few years back, but does still display nicely. This Ford is powered by a V8 engine with a four-barrel Holley carburetor. It has a manual three-speed on the column. This car runs great, but does need a little tweaking on the brakes. The body overall is solid, but does need some minor rust repair here and there in some spots. However, the black glossy paint still shines well. The red, white, and black interior still looks really good after all these past few years since the restoration and is very comfortable and is motivated to sell at $14,500 or best offer and no trades. Number 9, 
1958 Ford Edsel Ranger, listed in Charlotte, North Carolina, for $10,500. Up for sale at a very low asking price is this two-toned blue and white 1958 Ford Edsel Ranger, which is an all-stock solid car that is in very good condition and has an original 138,200 miles on it. It's not perfect by any means, but it is an eye-catcher for sure, and to top it off, it runs and drives well. A mild odor restoration makes this car super nice and easy on the eyes. It is powered by the original engine with automatic transmission, and it all flows out of the nice-sounding dual exhaust system. The matching blue and white interior still looks awesome. There is very little rust to be seen on this 66-year-old car. Floors, trunk, quarter panels, and fenders are all solid. The seller can supply you with a video of its running upon request. Serious inquirers only need to respond, and the seller is open for any trades of interest, asking $10,500. Number 10. 1947 Fraser Manhattan Sedan, listed in Columbus, Indiana, for $8,500. Up for sale is this rare, gray-colored 1947 Fraser Manhattan. It runs and drives great, and in fact, it drives so well that you can drive it home anywhere. This car had a mild restoration not too long ago and has been garaged ever since. In the ad is a video of the owner driving it down the highway. It is powered by the original 226 six-cylinder engine mounted up to the manual three-speed on the tree transmission. The body is rust-free and super straight with an excellent gloss gray paint job layered over it. All the glass is good, everything in electrical works as it should, and the chrome is very nice for its age. The cream and burgundy custom interior does show some dirt from storage and from now being used as a daily driver, but it is complete and solid. The seller is asking a low $8,500 or best offer. There you go, guys and gals. 10 classic cars offered up in 10 minutes. Hope you saw one that you liked, but if you didn't, Check out these other great videos that we posted in the last week or two. There's still a lot of great cars in those videos that are up for sale. And who knows, you might find one that you're looking for. Also, let me know in the comments which was your favorite car in tonight's video. That allows me to help to look for cars in future videos. Plus, it lets me look for cars that people might consider their dream car as well. Now, let's swap over to part two of the video, which is the entertainment value. We've got the fantasy stock car racing segment. And in tonight's race, I've got 32 cars on a mud track. That's going to be a lot of fun. Plus, we're going to announce who won the Hot Wheels that we gave away in last week's video. We'll showcase another Hot Wheels for next week's video. And we've got automotive trivia. How well do you know your automotive history? It's going to be a lot of fun. Stick around, and I'm glad you did. And let's check it out. Okay, let's officially kick off this segment with some automotive trivia question. First one up, what year did the Ford Company officially form the Edsel Division? Was it 1954? Was it 1955? Was it 1956? Or was it 1957? If you know that answer, drop it in the comments. We're going to check everybody's answer at the end of the video. Now, if you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell. You want to be one of the first ones to get notified when these videos drop so that you'll have the earliest chance possible to try and check out these cars that are up for sale. Trivia question number two. Which one of the following was a year that Ford did not manufacture Edsels? Was it 1957? Was it 1958? Was it 1959? Or was it 1960? If you know that answer, drop it in the comments. We'll check everybody's answers at the end of the video. All right, time to find out who won the Hot Wheels Lincoln that we gave away in the last video. We're going to go over to raffledash.com. We'll put in the URL code for the video, then hit find a comment. And it's Teresa Christine. Congratulations, Teresa. You've got approximately seven days to contact me at AmericanRodShop at yahoo.com. And I'll give you details on how to claim your totally free prize. Congratulations, Teresa. Oh, and by the way, I failed to mention in the last video who won the Studebaker vintage ad that was given away on Friday night. And that was Mr. 
Higginbotham. If you will contact me at AmericanRodShop at Yahoo.com, I'll get that over to you. Okay, here's the third and final trivia question. What Edsel manufactured is the rarest? Is it the 1958 Citation Convertible? Is it the 1959 Villager Station Wagon? Or is it the 1960 Ranger Convertible? If you know that answer, drop it in the comments. And again, we're going to check all these at the end of the video. Let me stop right here for a moment and pay some bills. Listen, if you've got anybody that loves to watch this channel and you're thinking about what kind of gift can you get for them, please check out the American Rod Shop store. I put the link over in the description. And in the store, you can find all sorts of goods related to American Rod Shop, such as coffee cups, hoodies, t-shirts, mouse pads, posters, sweatshirts, and much, much more. And the sale from all these items goes back into supporting this channel. And here's the Hot Wheel that will be given away in the next upcoming video. This one was issued in 1996, so it's 28 years old and has never been opened. But it is a 67 Camara. It's got a great little paint decals on it. If you would like to have an opportunity to win this item, then all you have to do is these four things, and you'll be entered in for a chance to win this in the next drawing in the next video. Do these four things. First, subscribe. If you haven't done so yet, then drop the word Camara in the comments, then hit the like button, and then also enter as often as you want to. I've got several viewers this one, two, sometimes three times, but it's because they enter often. So do that, and you'll have a chance to enter this Hot Wheels. Okay, let's check out the answers to the trivia questions. Number one answer was 1956. In November 1956, the Edsel Division of Ford Motor Company was formed to establish a retail organization and dealer network alongside Ford and Lincoln Mercury. Answer number two, 1957. Edsels were developed and manufactured by the Ford Motor Company for model years 1958 through 1960. And answer number three, what Edsel manufactured is the rarest? It is the 1960 Ranger convertible with only 76 units made and finding one in good condition these days is still more rare than that. Okay, it's time for the segment everybody's been waiting on, the Fantasy Vintage Stock Car Racing segment. And in tonight's segment, we go across the pond to the United Kingdom where everybody races in the opposite direction. We've got a 32 car field on a muddy short track. It's going to be exciting. But first, let's check out the driver list. Out of the 32 car field, you guys and gals are the top 12. So let's go with row one. Inside lane is Mark Harper driving car 600. Outside lane is Mary Dilly driving car 306. In row two, on the inside lane, we got Rexanne May driving car 888. On the outside lane, we got Orion Bennett driving car number 350. In row three, on the inside lane, we've got Rambalon 63, driving car number 730. On the outside lane, we've got Agniska Mokzidlo, driving car 550. On row four, on the inside lane, we've got DGHB8R8, driving car 399. On the outside lane, we've got Richard Kaiser, driving car 148. Row five, on the inside lane, we've got Tim Miller, driving car 811. On the outside lane, we got David Gideon driving car 120. And row number six, on the inside lane, we got Daz Restorations driving car 157. And on the outside lane, we got Mr. Higginbotham driving car 131. Now the cars have been circling, waiting for us to join them. And we're about to get underway racing. Now the cars will probably make one more pass around the track before the flagman turns them loose for the start of the race under the green flag. With 32 cars in the field, they need to be lined up as close as possible because the whole field of cars extends around one half of the track. So you've got to make sure they're lined up good. Probably will turn them loose maybe on this pass or the next. It does seem to be a couple of cars or so still lagging in the back. That's those three right there. He's going to give them time to get caught up, and I think he'll turn them loose on the next round. 
DGH in car number 399 and car number 157 Dash Restorations seem to have got spun out there. And already problems on the pit side where Martin Lake has already gone around. Paul Atkins has gone. Sam Blue car number 350 driven by Ryan Bennett has got against the back wall but he's still continuing on there. That wreck took out several cars. Would they be able to get back into the race? We'll have to see with time. Car 306, driven by Mary Dilly, and car 600, driven by Mark Harper, are still battling it out for first place position. But they're having to fight their way at the rear end of the cars in front of them to try to get around them. Barry Russell is our leader. The man that had a white lightning counter kicked in just a couple of weeks ago is currently leading the national championship here at Milton in the 600 car. Here he is then. Second is with uh, 306. Daniel 600 Parker. is holding his first place spot with 306 very close behind. Blue, car number 120 on driven by David Gidding is Wayne close Wayne behind them with a the car two back. for 6-6-1 a technical disqualification red cross flag will go out as Austin Freestone has gone to the middle he retires in 3-4-1 and Mortfeller has gone down on roadway bend 270 he's gone he hits front end shot from Darren Mancy and we check on him in 270 he does get going from there we keep the racing on halfway next time please Nick halfway next time through for 600 Barry Russell coming down into the pitch turn now about to come past the Northern Ireland driver on 7-Eleven 306 he's still had problems ahead as 306 starts to the inside with 351 and 7-Eleven 349 Michael Allard is then on his way through as well with 120, Luke Dorlin, and also in the mix of this as well as he comes around the roadway. 120, well. David Gideon has made his way from the back of the 12th place, place position and is fighting now for third and fourth position. With 306 still challenging, car 600 driven by Mark Harper for that first place position. Still a technical disqualification for 661. Going down the back straight now. Promise for Michael Allard. As Geronimo takes to the bank and he's on top of that now on the end of the home straights. As 600, 300 goes around the S306, Daniel Parker now just taking the European Championship two weeks to go. Big crash as Ryan Sandry picks up Mancy on the pitch turn. Black flag 661 as first and second. It will be four next time, please, Nick. Four this time through as they go into the pierce turn. 600 and 306. As the arena goes round, Barry Russell's taken wide. 306, your leader. And Sandra and Mancy still battle it out on the end of the home straight. And 306 goes down the back straight with the lead. Michael Allard is with him too. And 600, Barry Russell. They come through into the closing stages of the National Championship for the National Saloon Stock Cars. As they go round the roadway, bend and down the back straight. 306, the current European champion. Two this time, Mr. Starter. Two laps this time as they come through. And it will be one lap next time. They've gone past you, Mr. Starter. One to go next time for 306. Daniel Parker, 600 and 349 is a lap down. 306, one to go this time for Daniel Parker, former world champion just a couple of years ago. European champion two weeks ago, near Renan and Angel Evan crash out. But coming around the pit turn and completing the distance.
Evans and added another type to his name. It's 306. Daniel Parker comes through to take the national championship for the national salute stock cars here at Milno ahead of 600. And your winner is car number 306, which is Mary Dilly. Mary, you've won the Fantasy Vintage Stock Car Racing segment for tonight. Congratulations. The rest come through to complete the distance. And that will do us. The red flags go out. Please, Mr. Starter. And flags around the race way to end this year's national championship for the national saloon stock cars. It was breathtaking. And exciting from start to finish, and he just couldn't predict how it was all going to end in the end. Well, 306 got in front though, it was unstoppable from there. And we'll confirm the rest of the places, but. Wow, what an exciting race. And guys and gals, if you haven't subscribed yet and you like this channel, please go ahead, like, subscribe, and share to help this little channel to grow. Love you all. God bless each and every one of you. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Thanks for tuning in.